Hi, Barbie. Oh, hi there. Okay, this is going to sound silly, but I was just daydreaming about cupcakes. <laughs> Do you like cupcakes? Here she is, everyone, talking Barbie, one of the hottest gifts this past Christmas. Now, Barbie's been around for decades, but at this point, Mattel said the number one wish from girls today was that Barbie could talk to them. So now we've got talking Barbie. But really what this is, is listening Barbie. You press this record button here and talk, and then she listens. So Barbie, what are you hearing from me right now? What's going on? I like to think of them as a mom bear with her bear cub playing in the sky. What do you think? Okay, so she's got a, a mind of her own. But Barbie actually, through the technology of a company called Toy Talk, listens, records, and then learns about your child, what she likes, where you live, whatever they decide to talk about, fun stuff. Like maybe your credit card numbers or how you need more Barbies. Okay, I'm just, I'm just joking. Is it just me or is it a bit odd that your child's thoughts are being collected and cataloged and kept in the cloud? Whatever your personal comfort level happens to be at some point, as a mom or a dad, you're going to want to draw the line on privacy. On my site, you'll find Talking Barbie's privacy policy. It says that the recordings are considered personal information under the Children's Online Privacy Act. That's a good thing. And their policy is to delete such personal information. Later in the policy, read it yourself, they tell us that they may use the recordings to provide, improve, develop, test, or improve speech recognition and artificial intelligence. But they specifically say they won't use the information they get to advertise to kids. Great. But the policy points out that other vendors, for example, Bing or Microsoft, will get the recordings or the transcriptions of your child's voice too. What they'll be doing with it isn't clear. Now, the next big issue is how Barbie influences your child. I mean, do you want her hanging out with Barbie? She's listening and responding to whatever in artificial intelligence she's been programmed with. Well, maybe we can do something else. What about you? Have you ever felt jealous about something? I haven't spent that much time with her and it seems to be innocuous enough. In some ways it seems really sweet. But really, it's like making sure a teacher or a preschool aligns with your values. Barbie is helping shape what your child thinks and knows. And Barbie is listening. And the scary thing is, she never forgets. And third, the EMFs. So... Barbie, oops, out of your charging station. And, okay, when I press the button, Barbie, are you okay, on? Okay, so what are you going to write inside the card? Okay, now I press the button again, and it's going to three, four, two, three, four, five, six. So that's just a measurement of the EMFs. And now, when she talks, there's okay, so the I measurement decreases. To but to really see how it decreases is know. as you get further away, brothers? like it goes point zero zero. So anyway, there's three things to worry about. So, do you have any brothers? <laughs> Talking Barbie. <laughs> Other than do I have brothers? Oh my gosh, Barbie, these questions are so hard. Okay, I'm going to put you away. Three things to think about with Talking Barbie. Number one, the privacy issues. Things that are being said are being recorded and sent up to the cloud. Second, the issue about what Barbie actually talks about. Is it something that you want your child to be hearing? I don't even know. I haven't talked to her that long, but there's some games she wants me to play. And she's obviously interested in my brothers, which makes me a little nervous. And now the third concern, because we're all about safer living in a wireless world, are the EMFs coming from the Bluetooth. They register at small levels, 0 0.2, 3, 4, but even those small levels could be a concern to anyone who's sensitive to EMFs, and children generally are more sensitive. I'm August Bryson. I want you to stay safe in our wireless world.